Thank you very much. The next session will certainly change the, the next session will change your mind about the historical events that took place in 2020. 2020, the year time stopped, the global pandemic in photos. And that's exactly the topic, that's exactly the title of the new book by Christina. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Christina Howard, uh, Howard Meth, the CEO and founder of Scorpio, which is a Forbes 30 under 30. She's also a top entrepreneur to follow by New York Finance and also the author of the year time stopped the global pandemic in photos. And after the session, you will get a chance to get a copy of this book, which was mentioned last night at the Grammys by Beyonce. Please help me to welcome Christina. Welcome everybody to the decade of the creator economy. Version one of the internet was that we actually went to go visit the web. And version two was that the web started following us wherever we would go. So companies like Uber and Airbnb were able to flourish because they could go where we went. This decade is all about you, but it's about you in relation to us. Every person has to create a personal brand and character that can be identified within a larger collective, the community. If you think, oh, this doesn't pertain to me, or this is just about a select group of people, then you're wrong. Think about it. Why does your doctor need a side hustle on TikTok? And who exactly do we trust? People today trust TikTok more than they trust their doctor. So our perceptions are being consistently changed in a way that we are not even understanding by the amount of images that we are seeing on a daily basis. As we endlessly scroll, our minds are changing and developing. My name is Christina Halatma. I'm the founder and CEO of Scopio, a platform where thousands of people around the world upload and sell their images and stories and get hired on their creative skills. These people come to Scopio to share their innermost dreams and hopes, and we spread them throughout the world. There are 8 billion people on the planet. Five billion people have a phone. Three billion people have a smartphone. To give you perspective of where we are in terms of internet connectivity and mobile usage. And we have reached the most creative generation in history. If you think about it, who had the tools before to create endless, creative ideas on a daily basis at our fingertips. So our challenge collectively is to reach those 3 billion people that already have their smartphones on connections and visual change. We finally get a chance to connect from, I'm from LA, I'm connecting here in Riyadh, and all of our cultures are melding together all over the world. It's incredible and it is changing perceptions faster than you can imagine. I have a little bit of an idea of why this happened. So the bubonic plague that took half of Europe or an enormous amount of Europe at the time was then preceded afterwards by the Renaissance. So we also experienced one of the most startling and insane things in the world, which was COVID. And after COVID, there has been a burst of creativity around us. So if you think about all of the legends that we have seen in the Renaissance era, those types of people are existing today around us in a new form, but they are here. So the top 1% has been earning for a long time. We go on Instagram, we see that the top 1% are buying houses in Beverly Hills and they're flying to Dubai and they have private planes, but 
99% are still looking for opportunities. How can I monetize as an ordinary person? And that goes to think, in so many countries, where did the middle class go? Where are the people that are earning, that are improving in society, but aren't that top 1%? So whether it's Scopio or other business leaders, our challenge is to think about taking the whole collective and giving opportunities and advancing, advancing more in an equitable way. This is an example of this incredible artist on Scopio's platform. And she says, I went down an emotional spiral, feeling hopeless and lost in darkness. I had a dream about my grandpa, where he hosted a massive dinner party for me on an infinite long white table and invited everyone I know. She woke up, felt a burst of inspiration, and published a book, and got hired by, by Disney through Scopio, and has experienced fundamental change. And this is just one prototype of person that, as I mentioned, is existing out there, full of hopes and dreams, uh, that doesn't have that vehicle to improve in life, but has all the talent in the world. On Scopio, there are 7,000 skills that people have listed. And the reason why this is important is before there used to just be a photographer or maybe a painter or maybe an artist. The visual world has exploded in skill sets and the amount of tools available, and these are all becoming specialized. So the more we are, look at this great conference around you, the types of different skills needed to create that visual experience is boundless and endless and growing every day. I've interviewed many of these artists on Scopio's uh, podcast and, and have really like understood the depths of creativity that's out there. We just released a new app. I'm so excited to share it with you. You can download this on iOS and Android and thousands of people around the world in 190 countries are visiting here to see other people's images to get hired by the biggest companies in the world and share their incredible stories so they don't just get stuck on their hard drives. They can go out there and for the world to see. Scopio was one of the first to pay artists in crypto, which is an incredible opportunity for them to get their, despite where country they live in or where they are, so that they could participate in this economic success. Hope you download the app. I wanted to now that I'm on this stage, really wanted to take something, uh, say something important. So before building a product, I didn't really understand what my role was in this ecosystem. But when I started building products, I realized that the products are really only as good as the people creating them. So when we go to platforms uh, and we see a lot of like negativity or, or uh, negative reinforcement, it's actually not the way it has to be. And leaders can really take an effort to change this and build products and places that we are spending hours and hours of our day to foster positive connections with one another. So I, I critically tell you, if you feel like that your energy is changing or that you feel like something is negative around you, to remember that this is actually just a technology and a platform built by people and the way that their brains operate and that you can actually create things with the way your brain operates. And um, it, it really shows that there's so many more people that need to be involved in building products and technology so that we can all have this really great place. I mean, we're heading into the metaverse and we're doing all these things, but why don't we get to positivity first um, and make sure that we are working in these collaborative ways with one another because there are so many world issues, there's so many things that we can achieve together um, if those leaders are really thinking in that way. And you as a user um, need to understand your role in that process so that you can manage uh, your technology and your devices better. So I went on an effort during 2020 to preserve history because I knew it was an important time period. I created this book the year time stopped. When I look at platforms like Instagram, I realize they're holding our history. And wouldn't it be cool if 
Mark Zuckerberg or, or Instagram released a portion of those historical images for the public to be able to use. I was able to do it on our scale with the incredible voices of people that were shared through our platform. I really believe in crypto and blockchain. I think it's early, but I believe it could be our saving grace because it lowers barriers for people around the world to be able to participate, and it's creating a new system. I think the creators or the artists are way ahead of the businesses. You can even see here in this conference, uh, for example, if the conference made a deal with local artists in Riyadh, they could have created so much value, and maybe they got a percentage, like 1% of the sales of the event that would add and foster artistic creativity to the rest of the city. And they're thinking in new ways and new business models, and businesses are catching up to that. So be creative in how you're participating and working with these, these talented people. This is a map of all the artists on Scopio. I actually have one of my first hires here today, so I'm super excited to see him here in the audience. But uh, we had probably just a few bubbles when we started, and here is where we are today. But it sh shows how platforms can be so global, and you can serve that global user base. So you are going to receive a copy of this incredible book that was featured yesterday, as Ahmed mentioned, in the Grammys and given to the, the First Lady, to Beyonce, Kendrick Lamar, Lizzo, every 200 uh, awardees and presenters yesterday. So right after Beyonce, you get the book, which is... <laughs> Um, and it will be a keepsake for you uh, for history. I'm sure you're curious as to what's in it, so I will leave without further uh, ado to check it out. Thank you so much for having me.